Hey folks, if you like this video or any of the videos that we produce on this channel, I'd ask you to click the thumbs up icon in the bottom left of the screen. Also tell your friends and families, invite them to subscribe. We'd love to have the subscribers join the channel. I also want to thank you, each and every one of you who do subscribe, comment, uh, and, and just you know give us the positive feedback. We certainly appreciate it. And uh, we're going to keep producing videos for you guys, also because I love to shoot. It's good stuff. Hey folks, Wish SE up here in New Hampshire. Just uh, got some new gear and I wanted to try it out and show you guys what it looks like. This is the Battle Comp Compensator uh, for the 5.56. This gun right here is a Colt Lower DPMS Upper. It has a patrol aim point. Um, 2 MOA. Been shooting a little bit and I have to say I'm surprised how much difference having the compensator uh, makes in terms of muzzle rise and muzzle flip. So I'm going to shoot a little bit, give you a perspective of what it looks like, and then we're going to bring the video in very close so you can see how it's dispersing the gases from the barrel as the bullet leaves the barrel. Then we'll compare this to a Smith & Wesson m and the tactical version of the AR that they uh, have, with just the standard uh, A2 flash suppressor, flash hider. Give you two, two views of that. Now, um, I, I was shooting it off the bench earlier. There's a definite difference when shooting that this, again, the Battle Comp 1-inch uh, version, and um, versus that birdcage style. So cool yeah definitely cool let's see what it looks like to shoot okay folks I apologize the wind is picking up a little bit try to give you a perspective from right there with our battle comp From my standpoint, the gun is really staying flat. There's not a lot of movement. Um, it's coming back, but certainly it's not. Uh, the red dot is really staying right there. Now, from the shooter's standpoint, you're not feeling a lot of concussion. However, if you're on a line with other people that are shooting compensators, it can be significantly louder. Again, very little muzzle flip muzzle rise associated with that. So I'm going to take this same position right now and I'm going to switch to the M&P and, and we'll take a look at that and give you a perspective again of the same setup, basically the same setup. m and is a wee bit heavier with the standard A2 flash hider. Okay, so we've got our M&P, and, and what we're going to do now is we're basically going to shoot from the same position, or pretty darn close to it, and give you the perspective using the conventional or standard A2 hider. Now, what I'm seeing on this end is the gun is going up a little bit to the right as I fire. So, with the battle comp, the gun stays flatter. Now, this gun is quieter, I can tell you that. Shooting it is definitely quieter than with the battle comp. Again, that dissipating factor of the compensator does make a difference in terms of its volume. So, we're going to go back, run some drills through the battle comp because it's cool and so much fun and uh, want to record it on video. Why not? More of the battle comp. I'm telling you, it's very easy, very easy to keep the red dot right there, right where you want it. 
Uh, it's just not dancing around a lot, so I'm really impressed. It's an expensive piece of kit. Uh, the Battle Comp runs between 130 to 150 bucks. Uh, you can get them both in the inch length, inch and a half. You can get them for uh, 5.56 five, or 308, depending on what you want to shoot. Uh, pretty freaking expensive, but <laughs> they really work. No surprise there. Let's take another angle. Well, folks, that's it. That is the Battle Comp muzzle brake compensator um, that I have just fallen in love with. From the shooting we did today and the little bit I've done before, it is a huge improvement over your normal A2 flash hider. So hopefully that uh, made some sense and hopefully you'll get a lot out of the uh, muzzle brake as much as I have. Thanks so much for watching and as always, stay safe.